Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. To those who are new, hi, hello, my name is Paula, and here in this channel, we talk all about perfumes. To those returning, my returning viewers, my subscribers, my new subscribers, my regulars, thank you so much for the continued love and support. Today, I'm doing a collaboration video. This is a collaboration started by Canada Kim, and we are gonna be sharing with you four fragrances that will best represent the four seasons of the beautiful country that we currently live in. So if you guys want to know which fragrances from my perfume collection I chose that would best represent the beautiful country of Iceland in terms of seasons, then keep on watching. I'm going to be talking about is winter. So winter can be very unpredictable here in Iceland and I'm just talking about being in Reykjavik in general, the capital of Iceland, because I don't know how it is being in the northern part, the eastern part, or the southern part, especially in the northern part. I know snow can be like this high, but winter in general here in Reykjavik for the six years that I've been here it has been very unpredictable the first two years it has been full of snow snow started October November and would last until April but the third year that I've been here it has been just you know rain and hail and just like, super cold very strong winds and then the year after that it was just like snow once again so it's very unpredictable but then again the climate or the weather here in Iceland is very unpredictable just in itself it can change every five minutes I know a lot of people say that and maybe you've heard that you know that weather changes here every five minutes and it's, it's true so um the winter I chose taste and do by Frasai because this one just reminds me of the winter being here in Reykjavik. This one is a very cozy scent. It's spicy, it's soft, it's sweet, but it's also very confident and bold because it has those spices in here. This one just represents winter for me here being in Iceland because of the holidays. This reminds me of all the unique and delicious desserts that we have here. We have something that they call here Dörlegoth and it has, you know, those licorice and dates and rice krispies and chocolates on them. Very delicious. And all the other desserts they have here, you know, based on the cinnamon spice. So it, this one has cinnamon. And I think this one, because it reminds me of the holidays and this being a very cozy scent and very comfortable scent, just, you know, rem brings me back to the first two years where, you know, we were, my husband and I, we were away with, um, we were away from our family with Zach for the first two years. So this is just, you know, very, just reminds me of those difficult years, but then you have that bond of love and, you know, friendship and just that trust. So this just embodies that. But in terms of the country itself, this represents winter very well. Although this is a very warm scent, very fall-like, this is winter because, again, since winter isn't really just all snow and all cold and dark and, you know, very, you know, noir and just very, you know, and just very depressing, it's not. It is actually a very, very fun um, season because you see all the lights and you see a lot of people doing their shopping and just, you know, people, you see the change in clothes as well. So it's really, really very interesting. Just like with this fragrance, that's why I chose this. And, I'm, you know, during this video, I'm gonna be showing you clips of um, photos. I took myself, not only from Reykjavik, but also in other parts of the country. So yeah, this would best represent winter, in my honest opinion, winter here in Iceland. And this is Taste and Do for a The next season is spring, so I'm going from winter, spring, summer, fall. So the next season is spring. So spring here isn't really like how spring is in other countries as I would imagine it because this, I don't really love spring in a way that, you know, all the pollen and all of that, all the water, the melting ice, you know, the rain, the strong winds. I'm not excited for that. I'm excited for that season because, you know, I know that summer is going to be coming and it's going to be warmer warm in terms of Iceland um, warmth. So the fragrance that I chose to represent um, spring is Coven. So I know this one is a very dark bottle and the name is very dark. The scent is very dark as well, but I tell you guys, what I smell in here is what I smell when I walk you know, when we do our hiking, we do our trekking, we just, or just walk, you know, downtown, or when I walk through the trees, this is what I smell, really. It smells like melting ice, um, moss, the ground or the earth, the soil, and it also smells like pollen and leaves. 
and you know that bark when it's been like frozen and then it rains and then the sun comes out and then you have that smell of wood and earth pollen that I just cannot stand because I have a history of uh, bronchial asthma, I had childhood asthma and pollen is my number one enemy and I don't have like bronchial symptoms anymore. I do get, you know, irritated in my sinuses, but what I get is a lot of allergies. So I would have just like rashes everywhere. I do remember one time my son and I were just walking through the park here near at home and we we're just walking and then it was okay. And then when I came home, my eye was just swollen and it had all patches here because of the pollen and just the grass and everything. This one has galbanum, oak moss, cedar, and vanilla. So the galbanum is what really sticks out because you can just see that everywhere. When you walk just along the fields, you know, where the trees are, the park, you know, up in the highlands as well, you can see galbanum. And it's just a very, very accurate representation of that scent. Oak moss, I don't think so, but just like moss in general, like mossy earth and that smell, you guys, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's green, it's a little bit, it's green, it's earthy, of course, but it has this like sourness to it, that citric quality to it that I really, really like. When we do our hikes and you smell the moss, it's just so beautiful. And don't step on moss because it takes them a long time to grow back. So um, when we do our hikes, when we do our walks, we do try to be as you know vigilant as possible to just stay on the trails because here most of the trails don't really have like those ropes and everything. You can go out wherever you want, you know, as long as you keep safe. And I'm talking just about the hiking trails, but we do try to avoid as much as possible to step, not to step on those um, moss because we don't want to ruin everything because they do try to preserve nature. And this one reminds me of spring, going back to the topic. This one reminds me of spring because of the smell of galbanum and that mossy earth the like very soil like or very <clears throat> I have been talking a lot I'm filming a lot of videos today make your dreams happen anyway yeah this is coven by Andrew Mack best represents spring here in Iceland because of the galbanum that very mossy earthy green soil like smell to it which I really love because it reminds me of going to the highlands, going to the hiking trails because it is just beautiful. The next season is summer. So I chose Burberry Bridge here and this is a 2015 edition because this is just a bright, fresh, floral, fruity scent. It has yuzu, it has pineapple, it has lychee, it has peony, it has rose. It is a beautiful, bright scent that would best represent summer here in Iceland. So summer, <clears throat> It can be very tricky here because sometimes summer can last a month or two or sometimes it would just last a week. So by summer, we would say when it's like above 10 degrees or 12, when it's 12 degrees, 10 degrees, it's be like, yes, yeah, summer. And the last time, I think during June, we had 18 and 20 degrees up north and also in downtown Reykjavik. And that was like, yes, it's really hot. You know, the sun is up, but then you get the cold winds. So it kind of ruins the 18 degrees. So, you know, we're out celebrating the 18, 20 degrees, but then the wind is really, really cold. So that's the thing here. You have to be really prepared. And when you come here, even though it's summer, you know, you can't be out with your, you know, like sleeveless shirts and your short shorts because it is still very, very cold. It's going to be hot. It's going to be a little, you get a little bit warm during the daytime, but during the nighttime, it is still very cool. So this one reminds me of summer because of that excitement. This is just a very happy scent. And during summertime, I just get very excited. All of us get very excited because it's just very bright, it's fun, and then we can do most of the hikes that we want to do. We can go camping, and most of the camping sites, they open during the 1st of June, so we know we can go to those places. and. You know, right right now, I don't think, I think the country is still open, but you know, of course, not a lot of tourists um, come here. They are stricter in terms of um, quarantine and all of that. But I think this year would still be a year wherein tourists are not going to be that much in the country as compared to 2018, for example, and even in 2019. But yeah, we are going to be for sure trying to go out camping again, but we're not going to be touring the whole Iceland because we did that. But like right now this summer, we're going to be choosing maybe like camping on the east side for like a, whole, a weekend or three, four nights. And then the 
north side again and the west side so we're going to be doing that so yeah this one just reminds me of the beautiful sceneries i'm going to be putting photos in this video showing you like all the different places that we went to and just how beautiful the country is and the last season is fall or autumn and for that season, I chose Rosé All Day by Gallagher Fragrances. So you guys already hear me talk about this fragrance a lot in my channel. I really, really love this. I consider this as one of my Desert Island fragrances because this just best represents the kind of fragrances that I really love and the whole aesthetic that I'm really trying to, you know, like have my collection, you know, go for. And this is just a beautiful fragrance. This represents fall or autumn here in Iceland because it is such a it is a very decadent it is gourmand it's sweet it's just like very it's not just cozy but it's also not, you know cozy it is cozy but it's not really just a cozy scent this is just a scent full of body full of character and that's just how fall is here the color as well represents fall because the color changes here with the leaves. It's just everything coming from a tropical country. You know, everything's just green or yellow and green. Did I say green? But here, you know, you see the difference or the changes in color from yellow and then it becomes red into orange from, from green, the bright green. And I just, you know, kind of imagine this color that. And if you go also to other places like... Um, up in the highlands and other hiking areas where it is very much recommended to go during the months of august or september for example because you can see the color changes um the colors the bright red color of the algae or the moss and all the other plants as well you can see that it's very beautiful and it just reminds me of this fragrance in particular i think fall or autumn should be just like the official season because that's where you know you're not really so sure like are we still in summer are we going for winter like what because sometimes you get snow you get rain you get hail you know the wind is just like all the time just wind like even right now if you guys can hear it outside the wind is really really strong and i remember during the first year i think we were going to university when we we're learning the language like you can barely walk with how strong the wind is and that's very very common here like you know yeah we have winds you know this speed like yeah sure so anyway yeah this just represents fall because of the color the scent the feeling and yeah as i said fall should be like the official season of the country because it's you're just there unsure everywhere so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed today's content you guys it is a rather lengthy video and i've been going beyond the topic but i do love to discuss you know like i do love to talk okay and i would just like to thank him for starting this collaboration and also don't forget to check all the other people's channels down below and their videos i know there's gonna be a lot of us doing this collaboration kim did a really great job trying to you know group all of us together to do this and it's really fun i can't wait to watch all the other people's videos as well so again if you like today's video don't forget to click the like button because doing so really helps the channel a lot what with the youtube algorithm and whatnot and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell when you do so you guys will know every time i put up a new i unfortunately don't have a fixed upload schedule so i do try to upload twice or three times a week if i can thank you guys so much for watching if you have reached this far let us Fill the comment section with the Icelandic flag. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.